Little Miss Recap contains adult language and is intended for entertainment purposes only. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Little Miss Recap, the podcast where we like to mingle. Mingle. I love how he said it, too. (laughs) Mingle. Mingle, everybody. Mingle. Guys, my name's Amy Archer. I'm the host of Lomas Recap. I'm here with the noodle to my spi- to, no noodle to my sauce. Yep, yep. Steph. What's up, Steph? What's up? Uh, we're talking Virgin River and we are excited for this one. This is a good one. There's a lot that happens in this. It's a good um, one. Should we make our announcement too? Okay. <laughs> Guys, we have found the perfect show for us. We <laughs> thank you to the backdoor friends who suggested it. We I, I love it because somebody suggested it and I'm like, yeah, we'll do it. And Michelle's like, wait a minute, I suggested that two weeks ago and you ignored me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hi. everybody. We're doing McBee Dynasty and we're very excited about it. It is like Yellowstone come to life. I know. I love it. I There's a wait. lot of toxic masculinity. There's a lot of protecting the ranch. I mean, it's. I can't wait. I can't it's wait. It's gold. It's gold. Wait. Mm-hmm. I watched episode one. There's four sons. Okay. They're all I in their 20s. Mm-hmm. They're all in their 20s. Um, so I'll be expecting you to pick which one you would like. I mean, I will. Okay. All right. And uh, <laughs> dad's banging his way around. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, really? Yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be a ride. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm very excited. I made Timmy watch it last night with me. He watched it. What did he think? He hated it. He hated He's not it. watching it. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> here's timmy he's like this is staged this is fake i'm like it's reality tv tim do you think it's like um you know reality tv is not like the old ne- national geographic documentaries where they no. put the camera in the woods and watched you like yeah they have to script some stuff out yeah. that's how it works but see you have to buy into that premise to be a reality tv viewer and he's not right so, whatever Ugh. Um, what else am I I watching? I'm watching, man, what is this? It's a terrible name for a show. Man. The new David E. Kelly show with Jeff Daniels. Man in all, all in man. Oh, oh, oh. Man of all of us. Man in full. Man Man in full. full. Okay. Like, what does that even mean? I don't know. (sighs) It's on our list though. Is it worth it? I think it's good, but I I love David E. Kelly and Hot Hot Don is in it. Oh, Tom sold. Belfry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold. So, you know, it's uh, good. I I'll think it's good. Down. I I'll mean, it's down. not, it's no baby reindeer, but it's well, good. It's is watchable. Is anything ever like, going like to be? I don't think it's ever going to be. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Guys, I also want to tell you that I am covering the jinx with Tess Brigham from Psych Legal Pop Ooh. on Patreon, and it is so good this season. Really? Oh, it's so good. I So okay. I had never watched season one. I did not know how they would do season two after this because we all know what happened. I don't, I don't know anything about it. Um, you're talking to. I'm, I'm like I'm, the worst. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Okay. But season two, like we know he gets arrested. Let's put okay. it that way. That's a very high level spoiler. Sure, sure. So season two is... It's very meta because it's like how they Mm. use the documentary to build the case against him. Oh, it's so good. It's so if you like if you're into like how do they build cases and how do they catch people? It's very good. Of course. Very well done. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll have to add that to my list now. We're loving that. Full man. Jinx man. (laughs) (laughs) We're also doing um, I'm doing. On my $12 tier, which is Ladies of a Certain Age, I do a monthly soap opera yes, show. I know. So I started to research. I'm doing Marlena's Possession from Days of Our Lives. Oh, that's and awesome. I've never that's, seen it. Uh, Were you a Days Watcher? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I and had the Demira Times in college. Have you not heard this story a hundred times? No, I always thought you were the CBS watcher. I did not grow up watching Dave's Days. I uh, grew up watching Young and the Restless. Yeah, the CBS show. Capital, Bold and Beautiful, As World Turns Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Ryan's Hope before that, and Edge of Night. Oh, okay. But then, or not Ryan's Hope, Edge of Night. 
But then in high school, I started watching Days because uh, Marlena became possessed in 1994 and everybody was watching it. Okay. Okay. Then I went to college and this is when I wanted to be a soap opera writer. So I brought my two VCRs. Remember, I, I tell this. the story all the time. I brought my old janky computer and this, my college life guys was, I would go to class sometimes and then I would come home, watch all the soaps. And then I would get on my little computer and I had a, a newsletter on AOL, yeah. which was the Demira Times. Yeah. And I would write my newsletter. Uh, and I had like 2,500 subscribers. This is awesome. Every time I of tell course. the story, the number goes up. I, I, yeah, um, I mean. And it was, <laughs> it was someday, someday, I will find one of those subscribers. Someday in the wild, I will find one. Whether Can you they imagine? Me, I don't know. That would be so cool. It would be so cool. But when you think about it, I was 20. These women were probably in their 40s and 50s. Yeah. So, Although, like, I wasn't writing it for my peers. Definitely mm -hmm. not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so we I need to find, like, my, like your mom. Yeah. You're writing yeah, yeah. it for your yeah. mom. Yeah. My mom's 70. So yeah, that's about so right. We need mm -hmm. that crowd. Guys, ask, ask your ask grandmas. Your grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, so my point in telling you this is so I'm, I'm working on this and then it struck me. This can't be an audio only version. This has to be video because oh. you have to see these clips. Okay. With the yellow contacts and she's levitating <gasps> on the bed. And oh. She's, oh, it's so bad. I need it's to so watch bad. this. So I will be. I'll be doing it as a video and that video will be, I wanted to make sure everybody can access video first. So I put a poll in the Patreon, uh, on Patreon. Uh -huh. Um, I'll post the video onto Patreon, but then I'll also have a private YouTube link that I share with just patrons. And, okay. uh, I'm real excited. I mean, it sounds amazing. I'm real excited for it. And I might do video going forward. We'll see. It's sometimes it's hard to get the videos. Yeah. For so sure. I have to, to rig up a system. But mm. I'm excited about it. Where are you watching them? YouTube mostly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bonkers. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I talked for I'm way ready. too long. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. So we open, this is Virgin River episode six of season one called Let's Mingle. Mingle. Let's get ready to mingle. <laughs> Except it's nothing like that. <laughs> the guy's literally like, everybody mingle. It is. It is. So Jack is splitting wood and Mel sticks her nose in this and is like, wouldn't a chainsaw be easier? And I just wrote, you don't split wood with the chainsaw, you maniac. What are you doing? It was kind of hot, too, though. Did you see him? Uh, Timmy does that every fall. I know, but I know. It's I don't, hot. It's I know. Hot. you're going to see me at like the edge of the driveway. <laughs> just peering down. <laughs> Timmy's going to be like, what the fuck is Stephanie doing here? But you don't split wood with the chainsaw you cut no. it up and then you split it with an axe i know she's clearly a city girl okay that's she fine i did not know. know this either before yeah, i literally yeah. saw my husband doing it so she's coming over to check on him after his what i'm calling afghan war night terror which mm -hmm. is i'm not making fun of it it's no. very unfortunate and it's clearly ptsd yes i'm making fun of the show is just so overtly ridiculous it's ridiculous yes. everything no is, subtlety no, no subtlety. exactly mm -hmm. exactly we just go full on into fucking everything mm -hmm. face first so mel is uh they're talking and mel's like i'm shaken up by the whole pot thing yeah i know i was like oh my god you're from la you're you're afraid of pot you are from la well it's like no you're shaken up from being held at gunpoint not yes. from the pot thing so she's like, uh, I'm having trouble sleeping, are you? And he's like, nope, I'm good. Why? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, me and Doc paid Calvin a visit. What? And he's going to stay away from you or he has to deal with me. Really? What? Really? What? Who named him her bodyguard? Well, And why? But you're telling me Calvin is afraid of Doc. Doc? I know. Okay. And you, idiot. Okay. But I want to know who, like... Who who nominated him to be her bodyguard? Well, he did. I he know. calls her off of work. Oh, now it's he's, I know. know. Oh, yes. That's right. So she tells Jack about the night terror. She's like, uh, BT dubs, you had a night terror. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he yeah. goes back to Swing Wood. Have you um 
Wait, what did you say a second ago? Because I was going to ask you. I don't know. Have you? Oh, have you ever had someone call you off of work? Like when you no. were in high school, you never no. had a friend call and pretend they were you and call you off? No, no. No. Oh, well, you're not living. Not that yet. I remember. I mean, maybe, okay. but not that I recall. Okay. I mean, maybe my mom called me off once or twice, but mm. All right. it wasn't like a Robert Durst where he's having somebody call in mm. to pretend they're Kathy and he's really murdered her. It wasn't that Ugh. kind of sitch. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Hope interrupts them with a moonlight mingle emergency. Mm. She says Preach is insisting on roasting a pig when they're supposed to do glazed hams. No, a honey baked ham. Oh, honey baked ham. Like <laughs> what? Are they coming from the actual place? And she's, or are they making their own ham? That's she's honey real baked. pissed. She's losing her shit over this ham. She oh. gives Mel shit for not our RSVPing and hopes like, look, the Moonlight Mingle is the premier event uh-huh. in Virgin River. You can't miss it. God, I want to go to the Midnight Mingle. I was going to ask mingle. you, how do you feel about this? Would you go tell me everything? Well, spoiler alert, I feel like I was there because Joey was given all Amy Archer energy. I know at that she was. <laughs> I know. I know. I was trying to see if you picked up on it. Of this, course oh I my did. God. Okay. Which is exactly why I just asked you if you would go to one. <laughs> I would go to one. I would get inappropriately drunk. And be and rubbing I would someone's be doing face. The same shit. Yeah. Same shit. Okay. So fucking great. So every year the town gets together on a local farm to have dinner and to dance. And then there's music, live music. And when the DJ Mm. yells mingle. Okay. What we didn't know, what Hope failed to mention here is that there's no breaks. You just keep dancing the entire time. There's no like, everybody sit down. Let's eat our glazed ham. No, No. nothing. It's just constant movement. Constant. Who's eating? I would be hungry. It's like. It's like that thing Penn State does, like Thon, where they just oh, have yeah, to keep no. dancing. No, no, no. So Jack is like, well, it's actually pretty elegant. Mel says, I'm not coming. Yeah. I'm a terrible dancer. And then we hear, that's a lie. And she spins around and it's Joey, I... older sis, coming in to cause trouble. I hate Joey. She Amy... is the typical older sister. She like, really wah, is. Wah, 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 wah. Such a bitch. Mm. Such a bitch. They head over to the bar, and Joey is all about Brady. Mm-hmm. Don't blame me, girl. Same, same. I, mean, I see you. You see me. We see each other. Yep, yep. Hope comes out, and she's like, what's up, Joey? And then they leave for a tour of the town, and I'm like, that'll take five minutes. I know, right? Truly. Brady, Brady's really laying on the flirting here, and I'm here for it. He really is. Mm-hmm. He really is. Which I was a little bit confused by because I can't figure out if Mel's sister is old enough to be his mother or not. No. What? No. Really? No. Because you don't he's think pro- he's, he's like probably 30. And she's probably mm-hmm. 40. Oh. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah. I'm stupid. She's not 50. I thought she was like 50, 50. Yeah, no, because no, I'm Mel, wrong. Don't forget, Mel's only like what? What did we say? 33, 32? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it was Jack we figured out was 42. Mm-hmm. Jack or something. That little holdy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, you're right. There's like a 10 year difference, I think. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yep. Yep. Oh, damn. I was wrong. So outside, Mel asked Joey, like, why are you really here? And Joey's like, it's my birthday. And mm-hmm. I had three days. So I came to see you. And, you know, after the pot situation, oh, I had to come and check on you. That pot. <laughs> Watch out. At Hope's. Doc is there to meet with the attorney, and she's like, oh, the mingles tonight. We we better keep it short. Can't, you know, the mingle takes yeah. up my whole day. Yeah. Again, Hope, the busiest mayor. Of all time. Of all time mm-hmm. in Virgin mm-hmm. River. Yep. Then Doc, what did you think of this? Doc says to her, bring your fucking checkbook. You're paying for half of this shit. Whoa. I know. She Sir. already paid for it once. I know. And it went to me. Yeah. I don't know. He's such a dick. Oh. He's a terrible person. I don't know how I grow to love him, but I'm <laughs> well, like. Then, so then he goes, you have the money. Is yeah. Hope rich? That's what I'm thinking. That's is what I'm thinking. Hope a trust fund baby. Well, remember, I think we talked about this last week because it's been, this isn't the first time that there has been some nuance made to her having 
mm-hmm. cash in the bank. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why or how. So she either grew up with money, she was left money. I, I don't know. Like I feel like Hope is one of those people that was born into her her status of mayor. Okay. Right? I'm gonna say I'm just gonna put out a theory. Okay. Is Hope a black widow? No. Because we know she had a few husbands. And they were terrible. I don't think she is. I don't think she's a black widow. I don't get those vibes from her. I she's think, not murdering people. No, I don't think she is. I think she's just, I think she's somebody that probably grew up maybe a little privileged. Okay. Don't you think? Well, I mean, you've got to be self-made if yeah. you are the mayor of Virgin of River because that can't pay much. Mm-mm. No. So you got to have your own stash of cash. I mean, in the, bank. the doctor can't even afford to pay for half of his own divorce. <laughs> I mean, he never fucking works either. Uh, he's always just running around town doing shit. So, like, clearly true. he's not charging insurance companies. There's no insurance fraud happening. Well, we know well, that. Well, Hope, Hope's house is my favorite house in the I entire know. town. It's great. So, I like, was she too. left that house? I think Maybe she- it's mortgage to the hilt. We don't know. We don't know. We don't there's, know. There's no way to know. So Joey and Mel are sleeping in the same bed. Yeah. Well, no, Joey wants to. Okay. And Mel's like, what? A few years ago, I went to see my sister in New York and we slept in the same bed and we hadn't slept in the same bed in many years. Jenny and I shared a bed until I I think I was like 11 or 12 and she was like 14. So we have some real scars from that time in our lives. When you and I went to see Jenny and together... I slept in the living room and you guys shared the bedroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, she keeps kicking me in the back, just like childhood, because she says I snore. Yeah. Are you a snorer? I might be. Like, I think I snore occasionally. I hate snoring. It actually makes me so angry. Yeah. Well, some people can't help it. I know. I just hate it. I can't see. I'm somebody that can't sleep unless there's like a shit ton of white noise or utter silence. Well, we had white noise going, but she kept waking me up, and it was a I terrible night's just, sleep. And I, I vowed never to wanted to punch you in the back. I have such bad allergies and sinus situation and a I deviated septum. Like Ace Fanning, I'm a deviated septum survivor. Mm-hmm. I have one and, too. Uh, yeah, I have and so I snore. I don't, and think I think it's a weight thing too. You know, I think when mm. you're heavier, you tend to snore. So I just I snore here and there, mm. and. And Jenny just wanted to punch you in the back. Jenny was just a total bitch to me about it. Shut like, Timmy never punches me in the face when I'm snoring. Mm, he might, he just holds the pillow over you. That was Jenny. Until Ugh. you're gasping for air. <laughs> so, um, where am I? Joey, right. asks, Joey asks about Chloe. And Mel's like, she's fine. And Joey's like, it must have been so hard to give her up. She didn't give her up. She just no. returned her to her mother. Truly. After a day. A day. Was it even? I don't even know if it was an overnighter. I don't know. So Joey's like, look, I don't want to celebrate or make a big deal on my birthday. Who is this woman? Is she a maniac? Uh, Who doesn't want to make a big celebration on their birthday? I know. She's weird. My birthday's... Listen, I'm already planning my birthday. Yeah, It's in September. I'm already planning it. Mine kind of sucked this year. It was last week and it kind of went by unnoticed. Do you care about your birthday? Yes, very much so. So you need to make your own big deal of your birthday. I know. My sister was sick and in the hospital, so she kind of ruined it. You need to be announcing that shit left and right. You need to be- I usually do. Glomming on to other people's birthdays. Like, Mm -hmm. here's a subtle move. When somebody you see a week before your birthday, you say, oh, happy birthday. Mine's next week. Mm. So that people are aware that it's coming. Okay. Okay. So I need to start putting out like the- the birthday feelers. Mm-hmm. I got to start he, that shit in like March. Here's the thing. My gram always made the biggest deal out of my birthday. Aww. She would call me every day I'm, or every year on my birthday. She would call me every day. Yeah. But on my birthday, she I would know. call me and she had this little greeting card that when you opened and oh. played happy birthday, Shut up. Shut and up. she would play it into the phone. Aim. Yes. She Did was obsessed enough? with my birthday. That's cute. So mm-hmm. my dad called me every, obviously, every year too. But now what's super funny is my in laws, <laughs> they're the fucking best, call and they sing happy birthday to us. I could see them doing at that. At like 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. And they think it's like the greatest fucking thing ever. And it kind of is. <laughs> That's very cute. Then All my, right. 
then my gram would tell me my birth story like all the Aww. time, like about the day I was born, which I never got that from my mother. She never talked about the day I was born. Mm, well, it was so probably like, it not was a good just, day for her. She was young. <laughs> it was not a good day for her because Jenny ruined it. But that's another thing. <laughs> um, so like I it just, was the end of Jenny's life. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like everybody should celebrate their birthday. And I, I am agree. currently thinking of ideas that we could do in Backdoor Friends to make sure everybody's birthday is celebrated. Oh, I like that. Because it's very important to me that you mm-hmm. feel seen and valued on your birthday. I agree with that. I so, like to make a big deal on people for people like I on their too. birthday. I yeah. do too. I, I just, Okay. Yeah. Anyway. All right. All right. We're not right. getting we anywhere. Go. We We're still in like, we didn't so get anywhere yet. They, we haven't even gotten to the mingle yet. We're I 20 know. minutes in. Oh, okay. So they right. get into a fight and Mel says, life is more to me than a Barney's mid-year sale. Yeah, bitch. And Joey's like, I'm not smart or brilliant like you, but I'm honest about who I am. And then Joey says, you're running away. So what does Mel do? She runs away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She literally runs out the door and runs right into lie. Jack's arms at the bar and I don't blame her. If fucking Joey was my sister, I'd be mm-hmm. running away too. She's a bitch. Did you pick up the comment, the 250 thread count sheets? Fuck you, bitch. <gasps> no. Yeah. No. She said that about the inn. And she's like, oh, good thing I brought my own. Is that a low thread count? Yeah. Oh. But like, come on. Fuck off, bitch. She's just roots. Who? I'm sorry. I am somebody that's super fucking picky about hotels and shit, and I will, mm-hmm. like, it's a whole thing. But, like, you're staying with your sister, and clearly somewhere that's, like, there's no raunchy shit happening here. You right. bring your own sheets. This is Come for Harbor. You're literally living inside a snow globe. Literally. Mm-hmm. Like, bed and breakfast of America. Get out of here, you bitch. So- Jack says, I get it, dude. My family also thinks I'm crazy for living in this weird town. Yeah, I don't know what? what the problem is. And Mel's like, well, my contract with Doc is almost up, so maybe I'll leave. And Jack's like, oh, I didn't know that was still on the table. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, he's like, oh, shit. Got up my game. Got up my And then game. he encourages her to apologize because he says, mm. the view is always better from the high road. When I say that Jack is like Charles Ingalls from Little House on the Prairie, this is what I mean. This I know. bullshit. I know. How? How does he know everything about everything and everyone? How is he the wisest human that ever lived? I'm here for it. I know. I am too. He's home. Hey, everyone. Stay tuned. Little Miss Recap will be right back after these words. Do you want to talk about Preacher and Paige? <sighs> do I want to or do I have to? <laughs> We is have there to a bid. choice? We have is to. Is there a choice? So they're uh, loading boxes and boxes of cupcakes and pies into his truck for the mingle. Oh, wait. It's pecan pie. It's just pies. Mm. Paige is like, let's reenact. Okay. Oh, let's reenact. God. Now, don't. Your line is going to be, I thought you, I thought your father grew up in the Northeast. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So I'm wait, Who am I? Who, your, oh, preacher. your Paige. Your preacher. Oh, oh God. Okay. All right, Preach. So uh, take those pecan pie. Oh, I love pecans. Mm, I think it's because my dad grew up in Texas. Wait, I thought you said your dad grew up in the Northeast. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, um, I think what I meant was that my dad grew up in uh, Northeast Texas. Oh, that's right. That's what that's that. That's what you said. I'm going to pretend I, I must have been wrong here. Christopher, you want to <laughs> be my son? Yeah, and his name is, uh, my dad's name is um, no one cares. Schmoning Schmeimer. No, nope, no one cares. <laughs> and he's, I'm your, he's I'm from your Northeast husband now. Texas. And he's, or yeah, he's a real Northeast cowboy. It, it's fine. I'm Christopher's father. I just adopted him. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, uh, Preach wants to drive to the Mingle later, but she's no. like, oh, I can't do it. Can't do it. I got errands to run in Clear River. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, and Christopher is like, what? What errands, Mom? We have no errands. <laughs> Guess who's going to the mingle? Christopher. Amy. You couldn't leave them with Connie or Liddy. Do they really need to go to the mingle? Did you see Liddy at the mingle? I did. She was <laughs> macking on Jack. I don't blame her. That's going to be me. 90 years old, macking on somebody. Totally me. Totally oh, me. Jesus. That like crotchety old lady who's crying mm-hmm. about her grandchildren. That's totally, that's me oh, now. 
but th- will this be my salt wife era when I'm mourning Timmy on the beach? It is, but it'll be me crying that my kids don't call me every day. Okay. okay. <laughs> so back at the cabin, Brady and Ricky are working and Jack pulls up and he's like, let's get this going, guys. Oh let's go. I got some, We've got some shit to women do. to secure here. Yeah. And, I've uh, got body garden to, bodies to guard. <laughs> <laughs> bodies to guard. Charlene pulls up in her little silver RAV4. Now, how did she get into the snow globe? I don't she was not ferried in, obviously. By Bert, I know. Unless mm. Bert ferried the, the car over on his so little here's how it works. Here's how it works. Yeah, all right. In case Virgin, you didn't listen last Virgin week. Virgin River is a snow globe. Yep. There is the river... Connecting Clear River and Virgin River is guarded by Cerebus, the three-headed dog, and Bert. And Bert. The tow truck driver. <laughs> Who puts you in mm-hmm. a gondola, or yep. as Lajuan says, gondola, <laughs> and drives you down to Virgin River. And it's like 50 feet. Yes, yes. And Trying there, may, there the may be sex trafficking happening. Yeah, we're, we're not, not sure. sure. Yeah. We're not sure. Very often the boat goes one way because the people from Virgin River don't really want to go to Clear River. They don't, but but they have to go when they need their hair done because Charmaine mm-hmm. is the most sought after hairdresser. Yeah. So they have to hitch True. a ride from Bert to get their mm-hmm. hair did every Tuesday. Well, somehow Charmaine is here and she's like kissing them and she's like, babe, babe, mm. dinner dinner tonight or after the mingle before she's after literally like she's practically dry humping him in front of all these dudes well, you know what happened hmm. i mean we've all done it I she know. senses competition now she's stepping it up she's stepping it up mm-hmm. she's wearing the leather she's showing yeah. her bad girl so slides. he's like um 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 i guess clear mm-hmm. river before yeah he's he's you know she's just trying to get him to remember what he's got so she leaves and brady's like uh dude <laughs> You got a lot on your plate. Whoa. Mm. Your plate runneth over. Meanwhile, Joey's all decked out for the mingle. She's wearing like this really sexy black dress. Mm -hmm. Mel is dressed like she's a second grade teacher. And they're going over to the mingle. What is this? What is this? She's in Virgin River now. She cannot dress like the huge skank that Joey is from L.A. (laughs) So the mingles, like the Ralph mingle Lauren is amazing. Dress. It reminds me of. Do you remember on uh, Schitt's Creek? Yes, the dude who lives in the barn and they have the yes. beautiful. Thing. What's his name? I forget. Um, yes, don't so ask me names. But it's yes. a beautiful barn. Tons of food. I mean, the, it's it's a the dream buffet evening. is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, Hope shows up. And Connie asks if Lily's coming. Now, let's go back to last week when Connie had nothing nice to say about Lily, Mm -hmm. literally called her like the whore of the town. But suddenly she's like, oh, you know, we love her and we're here for her. Mm -hmm. Like what? No. Yeah, because we also find out that um, Lily has been seeing a therapist up in Clear River. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm, There's no therapist in... No, it's the snow globe. They because, handle their own mental health. Because the only therapist, the only person qualified is really Jack. Mm-hmm. And he's got his plate full. Yes, he's busy. <laughs> he's garden bodies. So Doc shows up angry because Hope stood him and the lawyer up. And he's like, I got to pay this fucking guy $500 a minute. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Now, let's let's just cut to it, shall we? But This whole thing is just set up. To make Mel and Jack dance together. That's what the whole episode is yeah, about. I don't think this mingles ever even happened before. No, They're it's all a whole playing. ruse just to get them to have to end up dancing together. I so know. here are some here are some uh, highlights. Uh, Mel dances with Preacher, and I wrote, "No, get uh-huh. away from her." I know. Ew, I wrote, "He's booties. hot, but he's Preach so booties. hot, but Christopher is just nearby. I can Ugh. sense him." And you know what? All we see in the background of everyone is Christopher just touching all the food. Do you see it? Did you see it? Oh, no. I don't doubt it. Guys, if you haven't watched and you plan to watch, or if you watched and you also saw it, because my eyes are always on Christopher. Mm-hmm. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, he's in the background, like touching all the things, putting, like, what? who left him in charge of playing, laying out the desserts? Preacher did because he's I an know. asshole. <laughs> I know. Fuck. First of all, first of all, if you're catering a big event, pie is not the way to go. You've got to no. cut it. Pecan pie gets sticky. sticky. 
Yeah. No, you want cupcakes. Yeah. Boom, pop them right in your mouth. See, I disagree because you cannot bite into a cupcake without getting icing on your nose. You can if you eat it the way I did, which Upside I learned down. on TikTok, which is you take the bottom off, you put it on the top, it becomes I a know. cake. Mm-hmm. Then just make a cake. Do everyone a favor and just make a fucking cake. How about make that? Icingless cupcakes. Or how about cookies or a brownie? Done. 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 Brownies right. done. So Mel takes this opportunity to fish around about Jack's experience in Iraq and preaches pretty much like, I would leave it the fuck alone. Yeah. Drop it. Mm-hmm. Jack Regroom. likes to handle his own mental health. I told you okay. because okay. he's a therapist. <laughs> so Mel is holding Joey's phone and a text comes in from Bill. Joey's husband Mm -hmm. that says found an apartment in town close to the house. She's like, Oh, Oh, now Jack and Charlene show up and he be lines for the bar and she's checking in with her ladies from the salon. So they've let more Mm. than one woman in from clear. Oh, Bert has been rowing that boat (laughs) back and forth. (laughs) Bert's exhausted. He's like Popeye out there. Just, they're just throwing Uh, spinach at him. (laughs) He just has huge forearms. (laughs) So at the mingle, Mel and Doc are forced to dance and they bond a little bit and Hope and Connie are dancing and, you know, Hope admits she doesn't really want the divorce. Connie's like, well, you're into each other, so I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Gross Christopher comes <sighs> over to preach and like, ask my it? mom to dance. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, Mrs. McCray. Preach. You should ask my mom to dance. Uh, preacher, uh, I'll be Hope. I'll be Hope. Uh, Christopher, get the fuck out of here. Go home. Preach! I love you! Christopher, go stick your head in the bees. Let me preach! Let me preach! (laughs) So, Doc is dancing with our girl, Muriel. I know! Yay! There she is. There she is in her golden glory. Oh, in that blue dress. Yep. She's here for it, looking fucking stunning. Charmaine grabs Jack and they start to dance and she's like, mm-hmm. I could do this forever, baby. I'm so uh, lucky to have you. Like she's uh, leaning she's on too thick. Too I could even thick. Look, I am the worst person at reading signals and I could even be like, it's danger, bad. Will Robinson. No, yeah. no. I mean, she's so pathetic right now. And yep. Jack is so uninterested that he's actually having a flashback in the middle he's, of her pouring her he's heart having, out to him. He's having a legit PTSD flashback yeah. of Lonigan. Lonigan. Yeah. Or whatever his name is. While while Charmaine is pouring her heart mm-hmm. out to him, he's like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, God, guys." So now they do another mingle, mingle, and Jack mm-hmm. has no one to dance with. Really, really, Jack, really, no one. There's okay. 17 women from Clear River there. I know, I know. Come another on. mingle brings Hope and Doc together. He finally says, "Fine, I'll pay for the fucking attorney." Yeah. They argue some more. He says he's been apologizing for 20 years, and she's like, "Well, you haven't been." It. She wants to see an apology, not hear it. Like, Preach what? is talking with Paige and being all I awkward. Just, I have a question for a minute, yes. if we can, yes. about Doc okay. and Hope. Okay, he's calling it one bad judgment call. Mm-hmm. What does that? That mean? was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I thought it was thick and nugget, but it might be one I bad really judgment call, you. like the cat. Um, no. But seriously, did he cheat or did he yes, just... Yes, he cheated with Charmaine's did, mother. But he's calling it a bad judgment, I sir. think, like, they... She, listen, just was like it a on real soap cheat? operas, just like on soap operas, he, he was right. looking for comfort. They found comfort in one another. We've seen this a million times on CBS. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm just checking. So um, Preach is talking with Paige. They finally dance. Now Brady and Joey are dancing. Now Stephanie. Mm. This is where I was like, and see. <laughs> I wrote, she's drunk. This is so me. I would totally do this. And she's when I just- knew it was you, hold on, was when she was like, feel his face. It's so soft. He doesn't even use moisturizer. <laughs> and I'm like, this is Amy because Amy, the only thing Amy knows is moisturizer when it comes to skincare. And I say this because we just had this conversation very recently. I was dying. How many times has have we been in this exact situation? But the funny <laughs> thing is, this is also me, if we're being honest. I do 100% the same thing. Yes. Well, ever since I'm married, I don't really yeah. do this kind of thing. But I, no, this was but, me when I was single 110%. But this is also something that I would do to like one of Patrick's friends or oh, to yeah. Timmy Archer. Oh, yeah. Or to yeah. Timmy. This is, see, I would be doing this to Timmy. But I, I would, would be practically having sex with him in but, front of everybody. And the, people would be like, can you leave? 
the fucked up thing is I would also be doing this to Timmy mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. would just be sitting there taking it all in. You would just be rolling your eyes at me. Mm -hmm. Patrick would just be rolling mm -hmm. his eyes because yep. this is both of us at yep. the same time. Yep. It's really funny. When we go out, one of us has to be sober. That's mm -hmm. kind of the rule. It's a little scary. So Mel pulls her off of Brady and is like, what is happening with you and Bill? And they fight. And Joey says some terrible shit like, when mom died, you became my responsibility. And she storms off and she wraps herself around Brady again. Now, Dude, like, but this was, she was such a bitch. She said some harsh shit, man. Like, you, like, I had to take care of you. Yeah. My marriage is none of your business. Dude. Yeah. Then yep. why are you yep. even here? Yep. She's it's bad. such a bitch. So Ugh. Connie now tells Hope that Do or tells Doc that mm -hmm. Hope trusted him more than anyone in the world. Uh -huh. And she's so heartbroken and you have to earn back that trust. And Doc is just like, I'm I'm done. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Doc's like, what the fuck are you talking about? We get another mingle. Mm -hmm. And uh P Preach is like, I'm not letting you go, Paige. I'm I'm not letting this go. Hold up. During this conversation with Connie, right? Mm, mm -hmm. Connie says, but Doc, you were supposed to be her knight in shining armor. She used to, you know, and then you broke her heart. And then what does Doc say? Oh, Jiminy Christmas. She's never going to forgive me. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. I couldn't let it go. Wow. Last wow. week it was Hope and the Hell's Bells. What's going on in here? And now mm -hmm. he's all mm -hmm. Jiminy Christmas. She's never going to forgive me. Dude. Could you imagine how much you and I would trash up Virgin River? Oh, my God. We next, would never. We would be thrown out of Jack's. Next mingle they have, we're gone. <laughs> we're going. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Could you see oh. us drinking all the cheap sweet wine? <laughs> Even Clear River's got nothing on us. We would trash this place right up. <laughs> <laughs> or we'd be like besties with Charmaine's friends. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah charmaine i see you you see me so now jack is dancing with liddy oh oh liddy i was cute? happy for this mm -hmm. we get another mingle charmaine pulls jack in to dance again then again, and again oh, she's like what do you love about me and he's oh. like uh, oh god I charmaine we, thought we agreed this was casual i actually felt a little bad for her here i feel real bad for her we've all done this and if you haven't you're lying men and women alike we've all done it and i felt Listen, very here's, seen here here's the thing and we're gonna see a little bit of this on mcbee dynasty Ooh, if you I start dating wait. someone and you're like this this is gonna be casual between yeah. us okay that has a shelf life <laughs> of you like you can't do that for two years. Mm -mm, there's no. a shelf life of like a week or two, maybe six months, maybe six months is pushing it. I'll say but, three, but somebody's gonna catch feelings. Yeah, that's it's just, just how it goes. It's human, unless it's unless it's a situation yeah. where like. I'm Polly. I'm seeking a Polly person. That's We're different. Under, that, those no. are different guidelines. Different. This is I'm talking like just two single people hooking up. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two so monogamous. Like, two people that are clearly just want to be monogamous, right. just not with yes. each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she's like, over the last two years, you haven't felt any more committed than when we first met. Just when she's I like, thought, Jesus Christ, dude, I thought you were falling in love here. Just when I thought she couldn't get any more pathetic. She does. Uh, we all know she gets her revenge. Uh, oh, and it's I coming. Know. It's coming. Okay. That's Virgin River 2, Charmaine's Revenge. So Mingle. <laughs> Jack now approaches Mel. And there is a beautiful cover of Make You Feel My Love. I know. Mm. My favorite cover of that is Adele. But this one was really good. This one was good. I don't I'm gonna I'm gonna be You like Bob Dylan's give, version. Yes, but yeah. regardless, I, I'm gonna get canceled because I'm not a big fan of Adele. She's oh, just really? okay for me. I mean, oh my listen, god, I love her. Listen, do I think she's talented as fuck? Oh Dude, you don't have course. to love everybody, of course. I I'm not saying she's not talented. She's right, just, she's just not for she's you. It's not for me. Yeah. Um, the DJ's like, uh, everybody get the fuck on the dance floor because they're like hesitating. <laughs> yeah. And so they start dancing, and now I wrote the whole town can finally rest. Mel and Jack no, are dancing. I know. They can all like quit the fucking ruse. Okay, another thing. He just broke up with his girlfriend five seconds ago. Truly. This is some middle school dance shit. It is, it is. 
it reminded me of the the middle school dance at in sixth grade when the I had to make a decision between three boys because mm. three boys asked me to dance and of mm. course I made the wrong decision. Of course you did. That haunts mm-hmm. me to this day. You picked the one that like rides a motorcycle and smoked um, in seventh grade. Oh, that no, was me. I actually no, I picked the one that seemed the least, the one that was the most like uh, harmless. Okay. And he was boring. And then we never spoke mm. again. Oh, I got you. And then the okay. hottie got away. You wanted to go for the hottie and yeah. you picked the boring. You picked the safe choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But okay. R.I.P. the hottie is not with us anymore. He died oh. of a do- He died of a drug overdose about five years ago. Oh, that's really Real sad. sad. Mm-hmm. He gets an R.I.P. Yeah, okay. R.I.P. So uh, Charmaine leaves, like I said, and Jack and Mel are hanging out. So Mel tells Jack, Joey's a slut, basically. Like she just, you oh know, yeah, she rubs her her cooch all over she's, everybody in town. She's gifted to win it when it comes to having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here's I'm gonna read you guys verbatim the notes that I have. Okay, maybe someone can make sense of this. All right. Uh, Mel tells Jack Joey is a slut. Basically, having fun comes easy to her. Jack is like, "You are smoking hot. What are you talking about? What what I missed there? All right. And here's what I do. You want to know what I have? Yeah. Too bad you don't see yourself the way the rest of the world oh, does. That's okay, it. Okay, Jack, you just broke up with Charmaine. Brady's a drunk asshole. You're drunk. There's the big shocker is you're not. Punch, it's over. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're right, though. That's what I'm missing is that yeah. Mel was like, oh, I'm just a nerd. And Jack's like, yeah. you're smoking hot. What are you talking about? Yeah. 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 Now, Joey and Brady get heated and <sighs> Mel needs to break this up because they're going to hump right there on the dance floor, which oh, yeah. who amongst us? Oh, did I go a little too far? Jack and Brady get into it. You know, Brady makes the comment, like you said, about the the not being drunk. And yeah. Brady tries to leave with Joey. Jack has to punch him. And I just wrote, what is a mingle if it doesn't end in a drunken fight. brawl? Now, this I can relate to. And like every wedding in my family that's ever oh. happened. This is this is some real Scranton shit here. <laughs> this I can relate to. Welcome to mm-hmm. Nepa, everybody. Yep. yep. So that's it. That's our episode. That was a good one. That was a good one. We got Brady macking on Joey, which I was here for. I mean, it's I have an idea. I think that you have the ability Mm. to recreate a mingle like this at the cider place and make this happen for us in NEPA. Oh, um, can I do this at the cider place? Yes. You probably could. I probably could. I probably could. Mm -hmm. I'll make Patrick come with his stupid Mm -hmm. DJ equipment. We don't even have to hire anybody Mm -hmm. to play the music. He'll yell mingle every once in a while. And we'll Mm -hmm. just like, you know, who like this could be fun. This could be how we set people up. Oh, we're going to set people people dance. That's not going to be. Let me tell you Walk around and I'll notarize shit when they get married. Remember, we used to have that idea. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to set out the plan. We're going to go. I'm going to spot the white Zinfandel. I know. I'm going to get drunk and go completely off script and off task. Well, and you'll yeah. be left notarizing and marrying people on your own. Right. And that's mm-hmm. the best part because I'm going to be drunk too. So God only <laughs> knows what's going to happen here. This is the whole point. Oh, we're trash. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it too. This is what Virgin River needs. They need yeah. two girls like us over there. You do. Guys, come at us if you want to. Head to Virgin River with us. Yeah. Please. For the next mingle. We're going to get a bus. Oh. So next week, we're going to be talking about season one, episode seven, If Truth Be Told. Preacher happens upon a secret. Oh, it's going to be a preacher centric episode. Or I know. Mel's memories threaten to overwhelm her. Jack has a sincere talk with Charmaine regarding their relationship. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right, guys. If you haven't Sounds already, like jump in back to our friends. We have a great supportive group in there. We're oh, loving it's it. The it's the best. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah. Leave us a five star review. Five stars only. If you uh if you want, let's give them a code word. You can use the word preach creatively. So you can be like, oh, this is the best podcast, preach. Yes. yes. I yes. love this. Mm-hmm. So we'll know. And yes. we'll spot you, and you'll know that we'll know that it's and you. You'll know that we know that you know that we know. Yes, that it's you. That it's you. Yes. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening. We'll see you soon. Love your bones. Mm-hmm.